We are currently inside the Dodge Charger Daytona, which is right there, limited edition, 215 of 501. Really cool car, it's a wide body charger, very powerful. Hellcat. This is Offset's car. He's a buddy of ours, came to the shop, wanted to do some mods to it. Um, we ordered up some parts. We paid him a visit the next day to show him some stuff. He really fell in love with my Urus. He wanted to take the Urus uh, for a day, so I let him have the Urus. He enjoyed it, and then he left to Chicago for the All-Stars. So now my car is stranded at his house. He has my keys. So I had to go, actually I had to Uber my spare keys that I've never used before from my house. We got that and now we are headed to his house, which is obviously traffic, Sunset Boulevard. Um, and yeah, we're headed there now to pick up my car. I miss it and I hope it's in one piece. So uh, for that, we are driving his car, by the way. I think I put it in. What'd you do? Sport mode. Okay, it got faster. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, now it's kind of in the horsepower mode. What'd you, All right, what'd cool. you have to do? I, it was up here, Track Sport Custom Auto. Uh, it was on the auto, I think. So the cop made a left, so now we can... We just picked up my car. Everything's in good condition. Um, I think he enjoyed it, but there's no problems with the car. and um, I'm happy I got it back, but yeah. Now we have um, his car to finish up work on, the Daytona Charger. So we have a few mods that we're gonna do for him. And then when he gets back from All-Star weekend, he's gonna pick it up. We got this whole thing wrapped up, R, uh, how do you say that? RDB. Is it RDB and yes. then Space LA, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like making it more difficult than it is. <laughs> I'm like, how do you spell it? <laughs> but uh, guys, we got this uh, this car wrapped at RDB LA. Um, it's, it looks f***ing incredible. <laughs> I love it. They're like holding a f***ing <laughs> huge cinematography camera. We walk in with like a little tiny toaster. <laughs> no, bro. We shoot transformers on that thing. She's been covered for like five years. Damn. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I did everything to it. It has a turbo on there, it makes 12 an horsepower. I haven't driven it for like five years. How five, six years. It was giving me starting problems at one point, and it just kind of business took over, and I just didn't put time into it. You should sell it, man. Is this your guys' Bronco? I don't want somebody else. You don't want, yeah, I understand that. I really, honestly, I, I, I don't, totally understand I don't care I totally to, you know. that. It's one of those. Just I'm going to one day just like rebuild it again. Rebuild it? Yeah. I've had it since 2002. Really? 18 years with Damn. this car. <laughs> yeah, dude, to be, on to be honest, my car, I don't drive as much anymore either. Just because it's, in LA, it's really I get it, yeah. That's yeah. actually one reason too, I was kind of like, really? stopped driving in, and I just, just like, too? let it go, yeah. Yeah, dude. I feel like that's, it's the type of car where you just want to put it on a tow truck, take it to a track, because it's really fun to drive. It is. As a car, don't it's, make cars it's like this so anymore. fun to drive. BMW after this went to like, yeah. Dude, people don't understand how, how f uh, fun G46s yeah, are actually are. Yeah. I actually hit the wrong boys. <laughs> I can't reach the pedal. Oh, god damn it. I don't know what the f I popped. Did the, the car break just now? Bye. I'll see okay, you guys bye. soon. Alright, see ya. That's what will save my life, you guys see it. They're great people. Thank you. <laughs> Ambulance coming, they pick me up. Before I get it cloudy, everything, I don't know where to go. I go like this. What's the shop's name? RDB. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ventador SV right here. You guys already know Chris Brown. We waited for the Liberty Walk kit to arrive. This is the limited edition kit, so it took him some time to get it built. 
We got it in yesterday and we already tore the car apart. This is how fast we are with this car. Literally, we started yesterday and now... The first thing we're doing is playing with the wing. Uh, right here we have the big wing, which is pretty much almost ready for installation. Mind you, we don't have any of the other body parts on, but uh, we're gonna put the wing on right now and see how it looks. pretty easy to install this even though it's an Aventador uh, next step really is to start putting on all the flares all that stuff we have a base that goes on top of this and obviously the bumper so all this will get covered obviously the tough part about this Liberty Walk kit since it is the limited edition one there is so many pieces it's crazy so there's gonna be a lot of intricate work a lot of lining up to do all that kind of stuff so next thing is gonna be putting on the stock body parts cut out with the flare rivet holes so we can put the rivets on and then put the fender flares the over fenders on the next step is really the major stuff so um we got the little stuff out of the way we have the car torn apart and all that stuff so uh next phase is gonna be fun we're kind of jumping the gun here we haven't cut up the front of the vehicle yet so we have taped on one corner of it just to show you guys where it's at and what it's going to look like. It's not sitting right because it's still not cut. The fender is still in its original format and shape. All these flares are going to be uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic. And then all the low down kit parts are going to be carbon fiber. The wrap is coming in. It's going to be a special printed wrap. So it's not a ready made wrap. We're printing it custom for Chris Brown. Uh, crazy custom wheels. Obviously, as you guys see, limited edition Liberty Walk kit. So it has so many pieces that go everywhere. It's wild. So yeah, right now we have that kind of on there. We have the front bumper on there. None of it is secured. It's all kind of taped on in one bolt, whatever, because we are going to take it off right now and we're going to start cutting it. So we got to do the cutting. Back flare is actually on, um, but we are missing a lot of panels. We're doing test fitting on the back, but the back flares are actually on there. The screws are on there that's actually ready to go so uh yeah we're getting there it's a lot of work this car but we're gonna try to do it fast i think we're gonna finish this car before the wheels are here so that's how fast we're gonna do it so yeah time to get to more work You want to try? Move, move. Let your, let your daddy show you how to do it. Thank you. The glasses. My eyes are made out of glass. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing sunglasses? <laughs> hey man, don't touch my hair. Oh, no, look at that. Nice haircut. <laughs> <laughs> What is connected? Do your job. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, daddy. <laughs> it's all because you is uh, how I learned. All right, guys. Now we are sitting in a Ferrari 488. As you can see, stars in the roof. We've done a 48 before. That blue wide body has a starlight roof on there. This is another one we just did. All of it was re redone in black Alcantara. But all the, a lot of the 48s come this cloth material. Um, so we also upgrade down to Alcantara. We did the A-pillars as well. So this is all Alcantara right here. But yeah, stars in the roof again, changes colors, all that stuff. Um, as you know, we can make it a disco club in here right now. As you can see really cool this is that ferrari that has the tan interior it's also satin tan on the outside so really really dope ferrari 488 and now it's even more custom with the starlight and once again you could turn it off so if you really didn't want to have the stars turn it off if you want to show off or have them on while you're driving i really like the stars in the roof when you're driving it gives you like this other it gives you a vibe that's actually very cool and positive so um Again, any car you want, we could do stars. <laughs> <laughs> 